Hello, it's Sarah. And I wanted to share a, a haul, I guess. I purchased a few things from the Plum Purdy website that I've been um, painting with lately, uh, that I've done these free patterns. Now I've done pretty much all of them. I just finished this one, which is called, oops, Catch a Falling Star, which was a free pattern. Got that right here. And then this one's called um, Holiday Ginger. Those were both free patterns, and they're from um, www.plumpurdy.com. Um, and so I've just been enjoying painting these little Christmassy. This was another one. Where is it? I did, this is Peppermint Patty. And I just did this on like, these were, I don't know if you want to call them like a barrel stave. That's what I think they're called. My husband cut them in half for me. They were a bit longer. Um, and I make them them into ornaments. I already got, I already, I'm down. I have two more of these that I'm working on. Those are ornaments. But I did him in the plaque size. I did this one, which was called Winter Something. Um, and it was a plate, but I did it as a plaque. But anyway, I'm enjoying that. So I went to her site and I saw some really cute ornament packets. Now, for December, she had buy two, or I'm sorry, buy three patterns or books, or books and patterns combined, get the fourth one free. So I did. I got three, I got three, two pattern packets, a book, and a free pattern. So I also got a couple of wood items. I think these were $2.99 a piece for a couple ornaments. They were just a little more intricate, the cuts, so I figured I'd get those. Um, these little houses here. Um, they had a hole cut in them, and they come with a little star and a little um, snowflake accessory, and um, just super cute. So I think they're around eight, nine dollars a piece for a pattern packet. This one is called Chili Chimes, and I've already traced the design onto some wood. This is um, birch, oh excuse me, birch plywood that you can get. At, I got this at Michaels. It's kind of with the dowels and stuff. Um, and it's a little thinner than the other wood that I used um, lately. I'm gonna give this a try. This is a little intricate, but I'll do my best. I'll, I don't know, I don't think I can get in there. I'm gonna have to just like go around that or something, but we'll see. Um, I also traced the other shape, which is the next one, which is a real simple shape. This one I love, and I'll show you what's in a pattern packet. You get this picture, color picture, you get all your directions, um, the colors, the color palette that you'll need, and the brushes that she suggests. Um, and then how to prep your wood, and then all your painting directions, what colors to paint everything. And you also get your line drawing. So this packet has four different ornaments to paint. So see, that's a real simple shape. I'll be able to cut those out. So I've already traced them out because I got these I traced it onto here and then I just traced it onto that wood and then I'm gonna give those a go cut those out so and then the book is super cute it was it's called mini seasons and I just couldn't resist the, these characters this this elf is the sweetest thing ever and I didn't order it but you can get this whole piece this note um, pad holder and it has interchangeable pieces that you can put in. This is, um, what are they? They're wooden memo clips that she's using like the big clothes pins to do. But see like here's a summer one um, insert for that notepad holder. And here's summer clip fronts. So this one's seasonal. It has, um, but there's, a, I, I just loved this. This is super cute. The elf and Santa, and then I already traced the elf, and Renee signed it for me. And there she is. So yeah, look at these color pictures. Like you get such nice color pictures. So I got those, and then I went to get some brushes. Um, those of you who have watched some of my painting tutorials, I've, I've talked a lot about brushes, and I wanted to share that I. I was wrong because I sent you to Michaels for the American Painter brushes and they no longer sell them. Um, 
I wasn't really happy with uh, their brush selection at all. They, they really didn't have anything that looked like um, what I'm used to. This is, I'm pretty sure it's called, um, it's a synthetic fiber. Cause I mean, there's all different kinds of brushes. Um, sable and you know but these this is synthetic and um i always liked them the the american painters were just good because they took a beating they were good and at least a dollar to two dollars cheaper than a brush by low cornell or another brand so i mean i'm cheap i want to buy five brushes for five dollars less than five brushes of the other brand so that's what i would do they do have them at AC Moore, <clears throat> the American Painter brand, um, and they did have these low Cornell brushes. But like I said, um, the comparable brush in this brand, it's at least a dollar to two dollars more. So depending how many brushes you're getting, um, you know, it, it's a big savings. I happen to have a 20% off coupon on all regular priced items, so that was awesome. And these brushes right here cost me $25. So they're not cheap um, you know but I'll tell you what it makes all the difference if you're gonna paint you need to have the, the right tools and that's just you know so use your coupons get them one at a time little by little um, you know I got the classic ones here I got a number one and number three rounds I also got a double zero script liner and this is um, Sorry, I stick it in my mouth to get the hairs to stick together. It's a little beat up, but um, it's it's a longer bristle and it's gonna hold a lot more water and paint for you. Then you also need some shaders to just base coat with. And I like to have a nice chiseled edge shader to get my base coating done. So I got all these, super happy about that. But then you also need your angle brush to float with and a mop and that I'm wrong again I thought they sold the Maxine Thomas mops and I did not find that either at Michael's or AC Moore but you can get them online um, and then I prefer the 5 8 inch angle brush but I've been using this 3 8 inch as well a lot lately um, so I just wanted to share that and I've been painting a lot lately I'm enjoying it these Christmassy patterns just really are happy and um, See, I'm working on two more of these Santas because I already gave my other one away. Um, and these were free patterns, guys. So don't forget to go check out Plum Purdy and at least get the free patterns and give it a try. And I think I'm going to do um, another tutorial. So I'm going to do probably the gingerbread um, because it's just simple. It's so simple. There's not a lot to it. Not a lot of colors and super cute. So... Um, and then my polymer clay adventural virtual adventure virtual retreat is coming up so I'll be getting the clay out yeah I'm excited and um, I have a couple other crafty things to share so um, that's it for this thanks for watching